Morning boys and girls, it's Tuesday, a special week in January. It used to be in the olden days you were off school this week because there was so much snow. But you're off school, you're not physically at school for another reason because of the virus. But we're home, we're trying to learn and we're going to start the day as we normally do with an assembly. Oh, what a lovely song to sing, Jesus loves me, this I know. How do we know? For the Bible tells me so. <laughs> Put up a fence. Today we're going to go into a field and we're going to see some farmers putting up a fence, a boundary, a petition for safety for many reasons. Let's go and put the fence up. Boys and girls, we're on a field today and we've come across a fence here. This is Jason. Hello. Jason's left primary school. He's very happy. He's just got married. And this is Archie. He's an attractor. Archie, give us a wave. He's got the thumbs up. He loves driving the digger, driving the tractor, driving the quad. So we're going to watch to see what's happening here. Jason, what are you doing today? We're putting a fence up here in the river, just beside the river Lagan, to keep the waterways nice and clean, to keep the livestock out of it. Yes, that's important. See, it's a big, big field, and there's going to be cows, there could be sheep on it. And if the, if the cows or sheep are thirsty, they'll naturally go where the water is. So we'll walk down here. This is the river Lagan. And the cow could come so close, it could, another big cow could come and push it into the river. And then the, 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 the cow could maybe have a problem in the river, maybe drown with the sheep. So the idea of the fence is to protect the animal, to keep it in the field, but also to keep the rivers clean. And that's the river lagging to stop the animals getting into it. But there's something about a fence. This is how they put their post in. When I was a wee boy, when we were fencing, you have a sledgehammer. But this is very, I put something in. And Jason's watching with his eye. You see left or right or straight. There's a code between them. And he's telling the digger driver exactly what to do. So Archie needs to listen to the, to the commands of Jason. I'm going to check if this is firm. This is the one he's just put in. Make sure it's nice and straight. Not bad, that's pretty good out there. I'm probably average for a man and I could not move that there. That's a strainer and a strainer is, is the rock or the one that holds the fence together to pull the wire that way and to pull the wire that way. And that's like a rock. You can't move that. And of course the Bible talks about the rock. The Lord Jesus is a rock. He's a solid rock. And we think, I was in a BB years ago, and we used to talk about sure and steadfast, to be grounded firm and deep. And the post that needs to be grounded firm, and needs to be grounded deep. There's no point in putting the post in that much, um, because the wind's going to come, or a cow's going to come and push it over, and then the fence all falls down. So the strainer 
is a very important, very important part. All these posts remind me of children or people, and we're all on a straight line. We're all going the same way, uh, but the strainer is the most important part to hold this fence together. And whenever uh, Jason will come, he's going to stand here and look down the line, and I'm just checking to make sure all nice and straight. That's like po people. Most of them are nice and straight and some's a wee bit bent and some's a wee bit over the other way. Uh, but the important thing, you need the post to hold the wire up. And this is a barbed wire. You see, that's a wee bit jeggy. You might get a wee shape coming down. The grass is always green on the other side. If that's nice and smooth, he's going to crawl under it. But when he hits a wee jaggy part, he's going to go, ah, or ah, that hurt. And he's going to pull back again. So you'll have barbed wire at the top. Just to isn't there, Jason? Yes, yeah. Barbed wire at the top to stop the cow stretching too far and hit their neck, and they'll pull back. It keeps them in the side. Now, what's these for, Jason? These are stays. That's right in. They prop this up the stand to really make this is really, really secure. So it can't move, and that's going to be up for many, 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 many years. Jason hopes. So boys and girls, I'm just walking along this fence. The fence is very fascinating. It's wonderful how straight it is. But sometimes we think whenever we go into a field, a field's a big square field, a rectangle field. But it's not. And this one here in particular is following the concourse of the river. So there's lots of bends in it. And this reminds me of life. Because in life, there are lots of bends, there are lots of turns, there are lots of hills up and down. I was talking to Jason and Archie, and they were saying if this was a straight line, they could have this fence in much shorter time. But this is a lot more difficult. It takes more time. It takes more effort. And in life, as a child, we can think, Art, my life's planned out. When I go leave school, I want to do this. I want to do that. But you're forgetting some, something. Life is not like that. We're not promised it's going to be like that. And everyone will tell you everything they have planned. Very seldom do their plans become the plans that they actually wanted. And as a Christian, it's good to say, God, I want your plan for my life, not always my plan. If you look down here, there's a big mess. That's all the muck. That's all the water. Everything's all turned up. But in order to get the fence right... The farmers had to come in and work here, but very soon that's going to be turned over and that's going to be nice, lovely green grass. And in life sometimes there are problems, there are difficulties, there are challenges. But in order for this fence to go up, the farmers had to keep working and there's more turns, there's more bends. And remember in life, not everything will go the way you want it to go. And sometimes you come to crossroads, you have to decide what way to go, what's the best way to go. And remember, your way is not always the best way. For me as a Christian, it's so important I talk to God every day and I say, Lord, what way do you want me to go? What do you want me to do here? Make God part of your life. Talk to him like he's your best friend. For me, the Bible tells me the Lord Jesus is a friend that stick closer than her brother. I've got six brothers. We're all very close, but the Lord Jesus is closer to me than any of them or all of them. I can talk to him anytime. And I said, Lord, what will I do here? What way do you want me to go? So whenever I think of the fence, look, you've got a strainer at every bend, every certain distance. The strainer is to keep the other posts tight and secure and strong. Then you've got the barbed wire at the bottom and the top. Then the sheep wire. We're going to be seeing it up in a minute. That's to keep the animals from crossing over, over to the other side. It's to protect the sheep that's here. Like there's going to be sheep here. If there's no fence, they're going to go anywhere and everywhere. And the Christian life, there are boundaries. And there's certain, that's why God has given us the Ten Commandments to teach us how to live, to teach Teaches how to, to stay close to him because if there's no boundaries in life, if there's no commandments in life, everyone will just live like animals and we'll be wild and there's going to be chaos and everything's going to be chaotic. So the idea of a fence is to keep boundaries to protect what's in it. And in life, it's important we have standards, we've got commandments and we've got laws. And that's the idea of law in a country to keep everything stable and society to be good. Because without laws, without boundaries, without fences, everything's going to be madness and chaotic. So when you see a fence, you think of the wonderful lessons, how God has got a plan for your life whenever you give your life to him. And God wants to put a fence around you, around your life for your benefit. Sometimes we want to be like the animal. We want to climb over and get to the other side. But God says, no, stay in this pathway. Stay in this field. Stay in this place where I have you. And it's always easy to go in the street straight line of life, but life very seldom is a straight line for anyone. There's going to be bends, there's going to be hurdles, there's going to be hills, there's going to be weather change, there's going to be muck, there's going to be dirt. There's all going to be start all sorts of things. But for God, for your fence, for God to have a fence around you, it's important we allow God to lead us and to guide us as we go through life. 
So the wire's up now, but if you put the wire up and never put the staple to it, um, the wire could eventually fall down or the animals could come and just push it down. So the idea of the staples is to keep the fence secure. Um, so the, the purpose of this fence, it's a, this wire is supposed to be here. So it's important we, we grind it and make sure it's secure. And there's places in life we're supposed to be, otherwise we'd wonder. So we're gonna get a staple and we're gonna staple it in just like that. Faster, faster. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. Did I pass the inspection? Oh yes, that's, that's great. I really enjoyed learning how to put up a fence. Brought back so many memories. Look at the fence here and this song. You have this fence, you have that fence, you have yon fence. So many fences, different shapes, sizes, and all for different reasons. Mainly to make a partition or to keep children safe or to stop nosy people peeping over into someone's back garden. Let's sing the new song, Stop! And let me tell you Stop And let me tell you What the Lord has done for me Stop And let me tell you Of the Christ of Calvary He forgave my sins I saved my soul He cleansed my heart He gave me hope So stop And let me tell you That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video about fencing and the important lessons. We're back tomorrow, every morning, 9 o'clock. See you.